Greetings to our friends and partners in mission in the Susquehanna Conference. My message for you today is that in the fight to save lives and restore hope against the killer disease, malaria, we are winning. So let's finish the job. I'm Dilip Abe Sekar, field coordinator for Bishop's Partners in Mission. I'm ably helped by a tremendous team of district ambassadors and local ambassadors. I encourage you to see who these selfless leaders are by visiting our website. Bishop's Partners in Mission is an initiative of Bishop Jeremiah Park with a twofold emphasis. Fight one of the world's great killer diseases, malaria, and reduce Mission Central's debt so that they could invest more in doing what they do best, provide God's resources for human need. Our focus today is Imagine No Malaria. Many people and churches of the Susquehanna Conference have responded generously and sacrificially to this call and joined the global United Methodist Church in this life-saving endeavor. 49 conferences representing 6 million United Methodists have accepted the challenge to raise funds to save lives from malaria. Our collective efforts are having a positive impact. Allow me to describe some of the results we have had on a global scale. And I'm drawing on information given by this booklet sent out by Imagine No Malaria, which says, here is a comprehens comprehensive impact report because of the generosity of people of our church. That includes you. The global malaria mortality rates have fallen by an estimated 60% since we began this effort in 2010. When we began this effort, a child in Africa died from malaria every 30 seconds. We still lose a child every two minutes, but this progress is reason for hope and celebration. It is estimated that the global effort to fight malaria has helped avert 6.8 million deaths from malaria since 2001. In the past decade, life expectancy in sub-Saharan Africa has increased 9.4 years, 1.2 years of which is directly attributable to the reduction in malaria mortality. Together, we have provided over 4 million insecticide-treated bed nets. Our funds have enabled the renovation of 61 healthcare facilities in Africa. Due to Imagine No Malaria, more than 2.7 million people have received treatment for malaria. Your collective generosity has led to protection of 175,000 structures with indoor residual spraying. Imagine No Malaria contributions have enabled the training of thousands of community health workers and volunteers who go into villages and homes and educate people about malaria, how to use bed nets, and about the locations of healthcare clinics for diagnosis and treatment. These statistics are a great encouragement to us, but nothing hits home like a real story. Here are two that caught my attention. Olive Crohn's, age six, is a member of Wesley UMC in Hartsville. This first grader was motivated to step up after seeing a TV commercial that said a quarter can save a life. She has since raised more than $4,000 to fight malaria by collecting and crushing aluminum cans with her mother. Olive inspired her church as well as a whole community. Children like Olive see no barriers to accomplishing God-sized dreams, which is often what makes them so effective in, in advocacy, says Olive's pastor, the Reverend Fran Elrod. Monica Clemon is a busy mother of five. Monica believes so strongly in the work of Imagine No Malaria that she was inspired to get a holiday job exclusively to support the ministry. She raised over $1,000. Monica is one of many whose faith was challenged and deepened through Imagine No Malaria. 
Bishop Park issued a challenge to the people of the Susquehanna Conference to raise $1 million towards the global goal of $75 million to eradicate malaria. Globally, United Methodists have now raised more than $70 million. Here in our Susquehanna Conference, as of now, we have raised $327,000 to fight malaria. May the successes we have had spur us on to finish the job we have begun and close the gap to reach our goal of one million to save lives and restore hope. Remember, as Ephesians 3.20 states, for God can do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. What will you and your church do? Let's rejoice at our successes and press on to finish the work we have begun. For resources, ideas, and support, check for the nearest Bishop's Partners in Mission Ambassador near you. Or call me. We will be delighted to be of assistance. See you next month.